tell you the secret. Before the exploitation of black people in the 70s with Donamite, uh, Superfly, the Mac, before that, the word pimp in the early 1800s and 1900s means debonair, mean gentleman. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't know that. Once black folks start calling themselves pimps, then they start demonizing, discredit, and trying to destroy it. But you got to remember, pimp, black folks did not start brothels. If you go watch any of the, the cowboy movies, they was pimping back then. You know what time it is. I got to ask you about the ism, man, um, because there's, uh, tell us about, you know, there's a lot of guys who came into the game mm -hmm. and some of them got that ism, some of them don't. And uh, we watch No Jumper. We watch uh, Black. We watch these shows and these podcasts where these young look like TikTok pimps, I guess. Mm -hmm. Feel like they're really doing it because they on the internet with it and they feel like they got mind control over Debo and stuff. Well, it's a, it's a reason why you tell them to hold their head down. You know, it's a reason why you serve a pimp when you're knocking for it. You know, it's a reason why, you know what I'm saying, you don't fuck a bitch when you first meet her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a reason why, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, you don't have a square and, 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 and a hustling at the same time. So when these come to the game, pimping, they be on all that sucker shit. You know, they be out of pocket. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 they be talking to other they be be talking to pimp and they don't have the game. And those are what we call simps because Miss Pippin ain't no Pippin at all. You must know the rules of the game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you cannot fuck with a bitch and she don't sock it to your pocket. It's just, that's just because that fucks up the whole thing because if I let a bitch come and I fuck the bitch on the first date and she ain't gave me no money, guess what? In her mind, she's going to be like, he fucking everybody else and he doing the same thing. And then that bitch that I let get in my household without breaking herself, guess what she going to say? She's going to say, all pimps are like Ken. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you can be with a pimp and you don't have to pay them. And that's why niggas got rules and regulations to the game because they don't want none of that shit to be, you know, misconstrued. So let me ask you as far as um, when you see, you know, pimps being exploited, you know, they got the feather in the hat. They got the linen suit. I think there's this pimp out now called the Purple Pimp. He just be walking around. It's purple. Um, you know, it's no, like man, uh, those ain't pimps, man. Yeah, I'm like, I, but those ain't pimps. I guess the question is, as far as the outfit, the get up, because is that because, a big part of it? Because let me tell you the secret. Before the exploitation of black people in the seventies with Donamite, uh, Superfly, the Mac, before that shit, the word pimp. In the early 1800s and 1900s, means debonair, mean gentleman. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't know that. Once black folks start calling themselves pimps, then they start demonizing, discredit, and trying to destroy it. But you got to remember, pimp, black folks did not start brothels. If you go watch any of the cowboy movies, they was pimping back then. But but you know, it wasn't a black man face. You know, even uh, you look at uh, Vegas, you go to Nevada. They pimping like a motherfucker. They got like a, a bunch of whole houses, but they don't call it. But when the black man get it, then it's a negative thing. But if you go back and you, and you study the early history, the etymology of the word pimp, it had all positive connotations. So, and they say, uh, you know, prostitution is the oldest profession in the game. That mean, is a pimp the oldest profession as well? Because I'm assuming with prostitution, there had to be someone controlling, whether woman, man, like, no, no, that's not the pimps. Are, that's the you know, when I say pimp, I mean, of course, the man who is sending a woman out and make structuring the business. No, that's a misconception. OK, please. What yeah. did you spend your first nine months at? Uh, in a womb. In a womb. Yeah. We all came from a womb. We all want to get back in that motherfucker. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is that when you think about it from that perspective, Men have always, even in the animal kingdom, you see them going crazy. Men have always wanted the vagina. The vagina is, is the vagina is king. The vagina is the power of all powers. There's nothing more powerful than that vagina. That's how pimps make their money. So women, you know, at, even in the Bible, they wouldn't call prostitutes. They would call concubines. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and a lot of them, and whorelots, a lot of them women in the Bible were considered like King Solomon's wives. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but eventually, you know what I'm saying? I mean, somebody must have got smart and said, I'm hungry and I need to eat. Let me charge for this power that I have. Now, 
Now slavery, right? This is this this is what slavery, how the black man get into America now is pimping, right? So in slavery, you know, the slave masters used to uh, rape our women. That's why you got so many light skinned children doing slavery, right? So the, they always raped them, but when they would take them out of the, the slave house and take them into the, the big house, you know what I'm saying? They would give them a pork chop. And even though I was married to this lady, this is my wife, I couldn't do nothing about it because I was property. I was chattel slavery. I was the slave master on me. So what I would, what, what the brothers would do back then is the next time you go and you go with master, make sure you ask for two pork chops. And that's when the system of manipulation begins. So when you see them brothers back in the early 20s driving them uh, horses and carriages, those weren't, they were, they, they weren't uh, uh, chauffeurs, they were pimps. You know what I'm saying? So they started using that system of manipulation. And they started selling the woman because the black, the white man have always loved the black woman. That's why you see the ploy of them trying to take our sisters now. That's why you see every time you see Tyler Perry put a movie out, it's a it's, it's an interracial relationship. Every time Hollywood puts on it's an interracial relationship, relationship because first of all, they had to move the black man out the family through welfare and affirmative action and, and all these other tactics that they use. And now our black women is single and they in the household by themselves, you see a lot of white men loving black women all of a sudden. You know, you got to look at the, the game and all this shit, man.